What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to the detail speed test between the HTC 10 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So in the usual style, we'll be doing lots of real world speed tests, everything from the fingerprint scanners to camera launch, going on to apps, so your standard apps as well as gaming apps, finishing off with multitasking to see which one of these devices comes out on top. So initially, to clarify that I am using the Exynos version here of the S7 Edge, this is the faster of the two from what we've seen and also I have updated both devices to the latest software versions available at the time of this video. Now getting benchmark scores out the way on Geekbench 3, the HTC 10 does score slightly higher on the single core performance but for multi-core performance the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge does come quite a bit higher. Now this may be because of the 8 cores that we have on the S7 Edge versus the 4 cores on the HTC 10. Now for the fingerprint scanners, we've got fingerprint scanners both on the home buttons here and I've done a detailed fingerprint scanner speed test between these two. I'll be linking that in the cards here so definitely do go ahead and check that out. Moving on to the camera launch, both of these have a shortcut to launch the camera. On the S7 Edge you simply have to press the home button twice and on the HTC 10 you have to swipe down twice on the home screen. Now I have filmed this separately just to make sure that these both are in sync and testing this out you can see that the S7 Edge was faster. Now just to see that a little bit more in detail slowing the footage down will make this a little bit more clear. The S7 Edge with the double press of the home button does launch a little bit faster compared to the HTC 10 and that seems to be because swiping down twice it does seem to take a little bit more time compared to just pressing the home button twice on the S7 Edge. Now let's move on to some app tests. So just here, we're gonna be clearing the camera from the recent applications. Let's go on to Chrome and we'll go on to the BBC News website. So just to speed this up so we can go straight to it. They're both loading. Now looking at the load bar at the top, it did finish first on the S7 Edge. Although we do have these cookies here, so we'll accept that. And let's go on to an article to further see if there's any differences. They finished first ever so slightly quicker on the S7 Edge. Remember, you can always go back and slow this down using YouTube slowdown feature just to double check, but it did finish first on the S7 Edge. Now let's move on to Instagram. Very close here, but ever so slightly quicker on the S7 Edge here. Now moving on to my profile. Quicker here on the HTC 10. And let's open an image. That was pretty much neck and neck. Now we'll move on to YouTube. Now the content loaded up is slightly different. So we'll go on to a video to really see which one is faster here. We'll go on to the Assassin's Creed trailer. And started playing slightly faster here on the HTC 10. We'll leave all of this open and now let's move on to some games. So Temple Run 2 is the first game we'll try out. We'll speed this up slightly. And finish first on the S7 Edge. We have to still wait quite a few seconds before the HTC 10 catches up. So we'll play and leave this on in the background and let's try another game out. So this time we'll try out Dead Trigger 2 which is once again another 3D game. So the initial load screen comes up first on the S7 Edge. Let's go ahead and play the game. Speeding this up once again, we can see that it finishes here on the S7 Edge first. So it does look like the S7 Edge seems to be loading up these games quicker. We're going to try one more game out, so we'll try Unkilled. So this is once again another 3D game and let's speed this up and see which one comes out first. And for the third time in a row for the games it is the S7 Edge. Now just to finish off this test we're just going to quickly test out the multitasking and see if all of the apps that we had open still remain open. So first up going into Chrome, let's see if we've got that article open there. Yep, it's in the exact same place and it opened up roughly at the same time as well. Now moving on to Instagram, pretty much the same, we'll go into my profile and let's just open an image. Pretty much the same there as well. Very little difference between these two. We'll go on to YouTube and uh, we'll replay the video and see which one starts up first. Slightly faster here on the S7 Edge. Not much in it. Now let's move on to the games and see if those games are still open. So initially with Temple Run 2. Same place we left it. 
We can move on to Dead Trigger 2, opening them both up here. Same place. Back, and now let's just try out Unkilled, which is the last game that we loaded up. And in the same place. Now before we conclude, if you do want to customize the look of your HTC 10, then definitely go ahead and check out our sponsor dbrand. First you simply need to select your device color, then you can customize each of the elements with any of their textured materials. So the upper lower sections, the camera, the HTC logo as well as the front and if you'd like then you can even choose an exposed chamfer look. I'm going to be leaving a link to dbrand in the description below, definitely do go ahead and check them out and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. So there we have it, the detail speed test between the HTC 10 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Now based on the results on this test, it would seem like the S7 Edge is a little bit faster compared to the HTC 10, especially when it comes to launching those games. And that may be because this is the Exynos version. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more content coming up on here. You can also see my previous related video here in the cards. Thanks for watching. This is Safa on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.